Greetings viewers. Now, this week, some of my Year 11 accounting students have relayed to me that they're having problems getting their head around the application of compound interest. So in this clip, I'm going to go through some worked examples and we're going to focus on the process of calculating compound interest. Here's the first scenario. So viewers, you might want to uh, freeze the video, take a screenshot and have a crack. But now I'm going to work, walk through the process of solving this problem. So what I strongly encourage is taking a four step approach. Step one, write down the formula. At least you can get some credit for that. Step two, identify the relevant numerical variables. Step three, using your formula, using your variables, write out an equation so that if you crash and burn in your calculation, at least you can get credit for the, your process and methodology. And then step three, let your fingers do the walking on your calculator so that we can solve the actual problem. So this is our formula. So the variables will include the principal, which is the original amount invested. R, the interest rate, will be given as a percentage, so that will need to be converted to a decimal. T equals the time in years, so be careful with half years, etc. N comes into play if it compounds more than once a year, and we'll illustrate that shortly. Okay, so step one, write down your formula. Step two, identify the variable. So we've got P here is 40,000, the original amount we invested. P is five years. R, we need to convert to a decimal, 0 0.0675, be careful with your zeros. And it's compounding annually, so N equals one. So step three, write out your equation. 40,000 brackets, one plus. Now because N is one, we don't need to worry about that. So we just go one plus 0 0.0675 to the power of five. And then if we let our fingers do the walking on the calculator, if we round to the nearest dollar, our future value will be 55,450. What about if the uh, investment is compounding more than once a year? So let's tackle that now. So same scenario, step one, formula. Step two variable, principal is still 40K, P is still five years, R is still 0 0.0675, but this time N monthly equals 12 times. It's compounding 12 times per year. So our equation, 40,000, one plus, 0 0.00675 divided by 12 times per year. N is 12 times five. That's a bit messy, so let's tidy this up a bit with an extra step this time. So 1.0675 divided by 12 equals 0 0.00562. To five, but don't take my word for it. Check that out on your calculator. Time um, to the power of 12 times five is 60. So then we punch that in our calculator and we get 56,000 and five dollars if we round to the nearest dollar. Okay, let's go again. Step one, formula. Step two, identify the variables. So this time, principal is 15,000. T is 12 years. R is 0 
0035. And again, this time we're going annually, so n equals 1. So again, step 3, write your equation. 15,000, 1 plus n equals 1, so we don't have to worry about that. 0 0.035 to the power of 12. We punch that in our calculator and we get 22.666 if we round to the nearest dollar. So again, our equation, 15,000 principal one plus the interest rate as a decimal divided by n twice a year to the power of two times 12. So again, an extra step is recommended here. So 0 0.035 times divided by two equals 0175. Again, check that on your calculator to the power of 24. And then we punch that into our calculator and we get 22,747 as our future value. If we wanted to calculate our interest, we would just minus the original principal to work out what our uh, return is in terms of the interest, which would equal 7,747. I hope that helps.